Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the game Biblios Quill and Parchment. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, I have a separate video for that. I'll be setting it up the way it goes for three or four players. If you are with less, please check the rulebook. Start by taking out the game board, this one. Place it in the middle of all players with the side up that shows the letter A. You can see it has these colors on them and there are some dice that go perfectly there, these ones. Each die can go on the same color, but you have to place them with a specific number facing up. Blue is a 4. Gray is a 3. Pink is also a 3. Green is a 2. And red is a 2. There's also this purple die that can go on this purple space here. The number doesn't matter, you won't be using this die until the second half of the game. Now comes everything for the players. Everyone gets one of these player boards. Place that one also with the A side up. You see it's very shiny, that's because you can write on it with this pen and erase it later. So all players also get a marker. Make sure you use the ones that are in the game box. Every player also gets their own set of dice. Everyone should have three of these dice, two of these and one of this one. You already have everything you need. The last thing to write down is each player's icon here on the game board. If you look at your own player board, you'll see there's an icon in the top left corner around the letter A. This is mine. According to the rulebook, you go from old to young, but if you like, you can do that in a different way. That's up to you. For now, I'll go first, so I write down my icon on the bottom left on the main game board. Next to that comes the icon of another player, and to the right of that, the icon of the last player. Done! This is how you set up Biblios, Quill and Parchment. You're ready for the first round. If you'd like to know how that goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup, feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.